everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome back to Liquid and Lacquered. This Liquid and Lacquered is another Japanese haul, long overdue, I know. Um, this is the only haul where I bought a full collection in Japan, so uh, I thought I'd show you that just on its own, and the rest I'll show you kind of higgledy piggledy. I think I'll probably show them to you throughout this week actually, just a few polishes every day because there's quite a few. All right, so I struggled finding the names for these polishes. I know it's called the Breakfast Series. It is from a brand called Ducato. Here you go. And um, yeah, we will have a look at that now in a minute. But before we do, I wanna show you what's on my nails. I'll put up a picture so you can see it. This might be one of my favorite manicures ever. I absolutely loved it. And um, my love of cacti. It's represented on my nails today. I also have a little gin and tonic off to the side. I look a little bit windswept because I'm just back in from work. So apologies for that. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. The first polish you already had a sneak peek of. This is a beautiful kind of white crelly. So a lot of polishes that I picked up were crellies. That seems to be a very kind of common finish and formula among the Japanese polishes that I saw. Crellies and jellies were very, very common. Um, but it do, it's very creamy, this crelly. It is, it is, it will behave more like a cream. In fact, I think if this thickens up, it might even be okay for stamping. Um, I got it in two coats on its own, which is unusual for me to do a white in two coats. This is called Flickering Pearl, and I will put some shots of it on screen for you too. It's really, really pretty. Um, the breakfast series, it, everything is represents a different part of a typical breakfast. This represents the milk. So um, yeah, this is Flickering Pearl and it's a good white. I'm actually really, really pleased with that white. The brand, the bottles, really, really cute on this. The next polish is number 83. I don't have a number for Flickering Pearl, but number 83 it represents kind of berry smoothies. It really looks like a kind of an old fashioned forest fruit yogurt, but it's got this beautiful pinky blue shimmer in there too. Uh, silver shimmer, it depends on how the light catches this one. Really, really pretty. This was good in two coats as well. It might take three depending on your application, but I really, really enjoyed this one. I thought this one would be perfect for um, work actually. It's a really, really good polish and that's very smoothy. And the next one uh, represents the morning sky. Um, well, that's why it's, it's called refreshing morning sky, I think. I'm not entirely sure, the translation was a bit strange. Uh, it's number 84, but on the display stand, which I'll put up here for you, you'll see that they have like Cheerios or Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops, uh, to represent this polish. It's a very, very, it's, it looks gray, but they describe it as a blue. Uh, it looks gray and it's got this gorgeous kind of golden shimmer, very light golden shimmer. Very hard to pick up on the nail, to be fair. I'm not entirely sure if this one um, worked. So it kind of works either way, whether it's the morning sky with the sunlight in it or those little Fruit Loops with all the little sugar on them. So either way, it works. So that is number 84, Refreshing Morning Sky. I, maybe that's just Morning Sky and the next one is refreshing. I'm not entirely sure. I couldn't find a name for this green one. This is number 72 and this is to represent green tea. It could be that, anyway, I, the translation, I translated their post on Instagram to get the names and I, this could be just refreshing. Anyway, this is number 72 and it represents green tea. This took two, three coats on some of my nails. So yeah, you wanna, it, it is more of a three coater, but super shiny. Um, it's a Crelly as well, but they're all Crelly's bar one. Yeah, one I'd say is, is definitely a jelly. This is almost a jelly-like consistency though. I really love the color of this. I showed this one to Claire. I really think this would be right up Claire's alley. It's like a, it is a grayed out green tea color. That's the best way to describe it. Um, and it's almost, it's almost a, a khaki, but it doesn't have the brown in it. Very hard to describe this. I tried comparing it to Pretty Cool Life, but Pretty Cool Life from Essence 
has a lot more blue in it. I don't know if you can see the difference there, but um, yeah, it isn't like Pretty Cool Life. It is more of a green color, so um, really unusual. So whether it's called Refreshing or just number 72 or green tea or whatever, I'm really happy with this. Okay, so the one that that is definitely gonna be a divisive one, is Sunny Side Up. This is number 85, and this represents your morning eggs, okay? And uh, it is a pure egg yolk color. It, it's perfect. I definitely wouldn't wear this as a full mani. It doesn't suit my skin tone, but I really wanted it for um, nail art, particularly for some Gudetama nail art that I'm gonna do for um, the summer. So it's perfect for that. It is a jelly, which is makes it unusual. So I might try out some um, uh, jelly sandwiches or pond manicures or something like that but it's, it does take three, it probably take four coats. I did it in three. I could probably gone for a fourth, but it's a beautiful formula for a jelly. And um, I mean, it looks like a jelly to me. It's very, very sheer. It might have a touch of cream in it, but I think it's, it's much more of a jelly. It behaves like a jelly. So that is sunny side up. And as you can see from the pictures, it doesn't really suit my skin tone. All right, and finally, I feel like I'm racing through this because it's so hot. Um, but finally, I have the my favorite from the collection is the red. I do love a good red. And this might be my new favorite red. This represents apple jam. I don't know why it's called apple jam because it's more of a strawberry jam color. And definitely they had strawberry jam as like the, the picture representing it on the stand. But this is a beautiful two coater, proper shiny red. I wore this in my fairy manicure with the artist nails delicate and I absolutely adore this um, yes yeah, so this number 86 apple jam absolutely fabulous I'll definitely be cracking this out again soon I can't wait to do some more nail art with this beautiful I'm going into the nail art now lads big time okay I will have a little bit of a video up later on uh, just asking you for some feedback on uh, the content that you want to see on my channel and the format and all that kind of thing. So it would be great if you could go check that out when it comes up. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Thanks a million for watching. Have a great week. Oh, now I can have my gin and tonic. Bye, guys.